Jessica and today I'm going to share with you my newest for February 2016 everyday makeup drawer video. I started these long long ago and lots of people here on YouTube now do them and it's so exciting because I, I love watching them so selfishly I love that a lot of people are doing them. So um, other than that if you've never seen one of these videos before it's basically my drawer right there that I go to first in the morning when I'm getting ready. I fill it with products that I'm wanting to use up or products that I'm trying out for the first time or just products that I love or I feel like they've gotten lost in my collection and I wanna use some more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is an overview of my drawer. I just have these cheap little, um, it's actually all one piece from Amazon. It came in a three pack. They're really, really bendy and kind of, um, not well constructed, not really expensive material by any means, but it really does work to organize it all. And I like that it's white. It just kind of blends right into the drawer. So I will link those below if you're interested there. It's, I think it was like three for $15 or something. They're great. So over here, I have a bunch of products I'm trying out. So this is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate Foundation. And what shade do I have it in? Warm Ivory. It's working so well, well so far. It's a good shade for me, and I've only tried it maybe three days, but each each day it looked pretty nice. So I'm still trying that out, though. This is a YSL product that I got from Influencer. It's the Touche Clot Neutralizer, and so far I am not impressed, to be honest. Like, I tried it thinking, oh, wow, this is going to be amazing. No, it was not great. But I'll continue to try that out. This Pure just sent to me. It's their Hydra Fluid, and... I have only tried this once, but I'm really into BB creams right now, and this is kind of that idea. I think it's more of a foundation, but it's already kind of weird there, so I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying it out, though. Again, lots of new products there. This has become a favorite primer of mine. This is the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur and Illuminate. I love it, I use it every day, and if you've got normal or dry skin, you would love it. I think if you have oily skin, you might not love it as much. I also have the Milani eyeshadow primer in here. I just have kind of forgotten about in my collection. I really like, and it's like five bucks and it's a great eyeshadow primer. And then I also have this L'Oreal um, Extraordinaire little lip gloss in Rose Melody that I really, really like. I've been swatching a lot of things on my hands, so it's my hands all like shimmery right now. I just really like this formula and I wanted to use it some more this month. Here I have a bunch of new e.l.f. things. This is their like cream shadow and peach perfection and it's actually a really pretty color. I've only used it once though. This is their total face palette and I, I'm actually wearing these three colors today. I just really like this. They're colors I'll actually wear. So I've, I've been really impressed with that. This is their cream contour palette which I'm excited to try a little more. I've only used it once and it stayed surprisingly long, but I want to I want to try it some more. Back here, I've got some lip products. This actually one of my students gave me for my birthday. It's the Unique Lipstick in Conceited and this formula is so pigmented and creamy and that color pink is really pretty. So I'm excited to try that out and that was so sweet of her. Um, and then this is the CoverGirl. Well, I lost it. It's getting lost in the caverns. The CoverGirl O oh, Sugar in number three, Caramel. And I just like these. They're, I mean, you literally can barely see it if you can see anything. It's just a really lightly tinted lip color and I really like it. I don't think they're super moisturizing, but they're not super drying either. It's kind of in between. And then this is one I recently got in Sultry Sienna. This is one of their actual lipsticks from CoverGirl. And I just thought that color was really, really pretty. And then one of my new favorites, the Boots Number no. 7 Moisture Drenched Lipstick in Romantic. Oh my gosh, I just love, it's very similar to Sultry Sienna, but I like this formula a little bit better. I wanna get more shades, I love it. They're sold at Target. You'll see there's a lot of Boots Number no. 7 in here because I'm trying a lot of it out because I wanna do a review. This is the Boots Number no. 7 Translucent Perfect Light Loose Powder. And I've only used it, again, once or twice, so I'm excited. I love the shape of this, it's kind of like, oval, you know what I mean? And then my old favorite that's always in here, my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. It is just the most beautiful illuminating powder foundation ever. Down here I've got some blushes and face products. This is the number seven soft damson blush that I can't stop talking about. It's just the perfect everyday color. Another perfect everyday color is the City Color Be Matte Blush in Blackberry. It's almost the same shade. Clearly I like that color. But one that I'm trying out to decide if I want to keep is the Benefit Sugar Balm. I, it's kind of a frosty finish, but it's so beautiful. But I, I feel like, there it is kind of there. 
I feel like I'm not really wearing it very often, so I'm wanting to ensure that I want to keep it in my collection since I declutter like every day. <laughs> These were sent to me by Hourglass very recently. These are their strobe light, um, strobe lighting powder, ambient, I can't even, ambient strobe lighting powders. And I've got Euphoric, which is kind of a, I don't know, kind of candlelit one. And then I also have Incandescent. So this one's just a little bit brighter than that one, but they're both absolutely beautiful, but yeah. This one is more cool tone. That one's a little more golden. They're beautiful though. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I've got so many highlighters. I need to focus on some. So I want to try and focus on these to see how I feel about them. Back here I have kind of a random smattering of eye products. This is the Marsk Mineral Eyeshadow on Your Toast. I've been loving wearing this on my lids. It's just a really pretty shimmery bronze color. I got in a subscription box. Another number seven in, it's their eyeshadow trio in cappuccino. And they're just three really pretty colors. Surprisingly pigmented, um, like beautiful actually. I'm running out of swatch room, but there they are there. You can see that. I really like those. Um, then I've got a Kiko Cream Crush Lasting Color Eyeshadow in number one. A subscriber sent me, and it is so beautiful. She sent me a bunch of Kiko products, but I'm really loving this one. Then I've got my ColourPop Lovely Eyeshadow, which is my favorite gold shimmer. I love it. And then my MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I use like every day. I mean every day. I love it. Back here I've got tons of things. So I've got my Benefit Their Real Mascara, I'm just kind of, I actually have never really, really tried that out, so I'm trying that out. Then I've got one of my favorites, the Maybelline Lash Discovery. I love, because that you can get really in the grooves of your lashes. So I'll use this almost as like a primer. I'll put this on first, then a regular mascara. Then I've got some things I'm trying out. So my Mr. Balm, what? No, the Balm Mr. Right Now eyeliner. It's really nice. This is another Kiko product that that subscriber sent, the Long Lasting Stick in 07. It's a really pretty kind of shimmery golden champagne. And then I've got my favorite Maybelline Brow Satin Brow thing where it's got the um, pencil on one side and then it's got the sponge that's got the powder on it. And that powder, well that was a lot, but you can really get it like lightly applied. It brushes beautifully through your brows. I love it. Then I've got my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. That's my favorite black liner of all time. I also have the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil that I, I really, really like, but I think the Jordana one is just as good. I mean, there's so many drugstore ones that are just as good as that. You don't have to spend the money. This is the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel that I am using right now with my brows. You can see that I'm using it starting to turn brown. That's so gross. But um, I love it. I actually really like the brush on this as well. So that is becoming a favorite very, very quickly. Then I've got two lip liners. This is the Kiko one in 302. It's just like a peach. Well, it's kind of a vivacious peach. And then vivacious, good choice. My favorite, this is the ColourPop lip liner in Bound. It's just the perfect every day. I mean, a little deeper than every day, but it's just the perfect color. And these do not budge. I want to get a couple more. Then I've got the Sonia Kashuk gel liner that I don't love, but I have nothing else right now. So I'm just trying to use it as much as I can. It just, I don't know. It's, it transfers to my lower lash line when I wear it on my upper one. So I just don't love it. Got some eye drops, some brow tweezers, tweezers and scissors, lash curler from Sephora, sharpener, and then this is actually, it came with my Simple Human Mirror that I can just wipe it down when there's, when it's looking all smudgy. And that is pretty much everything. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will link my entire playlist of all of my everyday makeup drawer videos below. I love filming these. And as I said, I've been doing them for a long time, so I have a lot. <laughs> and it's kind of fun to go back and watch some old ones because I see like, oh wow, I remember when I was trying that out again or trying it for the first time and I realized it became a holy grail or I realized, oh, it's terrible and I got rid of it. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of cool to see how my collection and my tastes have changed over the years. Anyway, other than that, I hope that you'll subscribe to catch more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.